Your first cylinders were three to four inches. This cylinder that I'm gonna make right now is closer to four to five. It's gonna be a little bit bigger. It's a pound and a quarter worth of clay. And what I'm gonna do is throw a cylinder that will become cups. So our final throwing grouping of projects are gonna be the cup forms. So just like normal, slam my clay onto my, my, my wheel head. Make sure it's stuck on there. Now, with the cylinders, I talked about centering higher. With the bowls, we cylinder we centered lower. Now we're back to, we're gonna be centering higher again. So get the clay wet, like always. Lock your el elbows and make sure that you're in your throwing position that you're comfortable in. And start by coning the clay like normal. And you can see again, it's still the strong part of my hand, like when we're making coils and everything, I still use the same part of my hand for this type of work. Once you have a cone, you push it back down to center. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it a second time. Now, actually, I normally been pushing down with this hand, I'm gonna push down with, my, with them together for this one. Then I'm gonna compress and, and push down a little bit. But now I've gathered the clay higher. And I'm gonna push the sponge in my hand and, and press down to clean this edge up here for my first pull. So once you have it centered higher, then you already have a lot of your height. Opening with my thumb. And then now I'm switching to my fingers and two hands together. It's unlike the bowl, I'm not gonna pull out as far. And I'm gonna compress the bottom and cut off the little bit of excess clay. And now I'm gonna do my first pull. And I'm working my way up. So when you were pulling out with a bowl, your hand on the inside was going outward like a U. Right now with that pull, it's my outside hand using pressure and I'm going up like a J. So if you think of the U inside, as you pull out this way, you're making the bowl form. When you're doing a J form, you're getting a vertical. So it's all about hand pressure and which hand is co compressing in and is more dominant for the pressure. Okay, so here's my second pull. And you'll see that this cylinder is taller than your very first test cylinders. Because I'm working on making a taller cup. Okay. Compress the rim after each pull like normal to recenter. Now like the bowl, I'm gonna have you defining the parts of the cup. Now we're not gonna trim a, a major foot ring on it like you've been doing the bowls but we're gonna still define the rim. And we're also going to define the shape a little bit. So I'm gonna slow this down, use my wooden rib that's curved again, but I'm holding it, instead of here, I'm now holding it in my hand because I wanna hold it straighter. And I'm gonna push out at the bottom to round out the bottom of my cup a little bit. Then I'm gonna push inward a little bit with my outside hand. So I'm just defining the shape a little bit because I want it to hold a little bit more liquid. If I had left it straight walled, it wouldn't hold as much liquid as me creating this little bit of a curve. And I'm gonna lose a little bit of height. So as you shape and you go round it, you lose a little bit of height. Now at this point, You've been seeing me do pulls from the bottom. For this next pull, I'm actually gonna do a defining pull or a shaping pull where I'm gonna stretch the top out a little bit more. And I'm gonna actually only start a couple inches down, push in, and then softly work my way up. I'm not using a lot of pressure, but I'm gonna stretch out a little more height. Just like that, and flare out the rim a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take my metal rib and make a line to define the rim of this cup. 
And for me, I like my cups to be flared a little bit at the top. And the reason for that is once we put a handle on this and that rim is flared a little bit, it actually makes it easier to drink liquid out of rather than being straight. I'm going to round out my rim. I want to leave a little bit of thickness here just like my bowls and I want it rounded because if you make this edge really sharp, you're going to cut people's lips, especially with the glaze. I'm going to take my moisture off. Now I like to, once you get a cylinder form like this, then you can have some fun with them. And I am going to take my metal rib, the corner of it, and just take it up the wheel really fast and make a little bit of a spiral line that will show up in the glazing. Now I'm going to take my wood knife and I'm going to take off the excess clay that's right here. And that's actually been helping conform and keep the shape vertical that little bit of extra clay. And I'm taking that off right now to save my time on trimming. It gives me less trimming than I have to do. And it also helps release the cup from the, the wheel head. Okay. Oh, and this one is, you can see there's a little bubble right here. So that little bubble right here, I'm gonna use my needle tool to pop that little air bubble. Then I'm gonna take slurry from the top of my bucket and push it in there and that will fill in where that air bubble was. And then just run my sponge against it. So that's a real simple way if you run into air pockets. Okay, wire, cut. Dry my fingers, twist, and there's our cup form. And you can see the little bit of the belt line going up the piece. 